Domestic violence. It can happen anywhere to anyone. One out of four women will experience domestic violence in her lifetime. And most of these victims will delay seeking help just for the safety concerns of their pets. For fewer than 10% of domestic violence shelters are able to accommodate victims' pets. Ahimsa House is Georgia's first and only nonprofit organization dedicated to helping people and their pets escape domestic violence. Ahimsa House, this is their story. I remember um, early on in our marriage, there were some incidents of abuse that I thought maybe were just some bad days. So I spent half of my life, from the time I was 26 until just about, until recently, um, just trying to make it work and trying to figure out what I needed to do to make it better. And it never got better. I didn't only stay, um, before, because of my children, I stayed because I felt that it was the right thing for me to do was to stay, but I knew it wasn't right for me to be abused. Um, the turning point for me was when my ex-husband spit in my face. When he did that, I knew I had to go. I don't know why I married him. Now, now I have a better understanding of why I did it. I was in the cycle of abuse and I married him because I thought that was, you know, gonna stop everything. Um, it didn't. He put a knife to my throat in front of my kids and told them to leave the house so that he could finish what he had planned to do. My son was in the house. He was seven years old. I told him not to leave, to sit down. and He had a cell phone. I told him, go get his phone and call the police. Um, when he let me go, he took the same knife he had to my throat, walked about five steps away from me, and started cutting himself. He um, cut his arm so deep that he had to have stitches inside and out. And I pulled one of the paramedics to the side and told him what had happened. And they all left me there. They left. He said because it was due to their personal safety. They had to leave until the police came. They left me and my baby in the house with him. Ahimsa House was founded in 2004 by Emily Christie. Emily unfortunately knew firsthand the pain of losing a pet to domestic violence. Emily's cat Luna was her beloved companion and her main source of comfort during the abuse that she, she experienced. When Emily went to try to escape her situation, unfortunately she found that no domestic violence shelter would allow her to bring Luna with her and she never saw her again. Emily's vision was that there would be an organization, at least in Georgia, where no victim of domestic violence would have to choose between their own personal safety and the safety of a beloved pet. But what makes us unique is that we're actually the only organization in Georgia solely focused on helping both the human and animal victims of domestic violence reach safety together. We're the only organization that addresses the connections between domestic violence and animal cruelty. And as such, we work with all of the domestic violence shelters, law enforcement, uh, legal advocacy, and other programs statewide to make sure that when victims of domestic violence are fleeing abuse, whether they're going to a domestic violence shelter or somewhere else, that they have some way to get their pets to safety as well. A typical day at Ahimsa House is that there is no typical day and we never know what we're going to experience. We run our 24-hour crisis line which is open to victims of abuse anywhere in Georgia or their advocates and we receive calls on that line from people who need us to take their animals into our emergency safe house program and provide them emergency shelter and vet care but we also receive calls from people who may have somewhere safe for their pets to stay but may need our help in working with them on 
including their pets in safety planning. So for example, they're getting ready to leave, but they don't yet have all their pets' vaccinations up to date, and for that reason they won't be able to place them in a boarding facility. So we may work with them on that. Well, I never worried where Onyx was, and that was thanks to Ahimsa House. What Ahimsa House did for me was it allayed my fear that he would not be taken care of well. And so when I first found out, I, I mean, they gave him his shots and someone came to pick him up. AHIMSA House is a very small nonprofit organization. At this time, we have a staff of only two, and yet we are providing services to the entire state. So that means that volunteers are absolutely at the heart of the work that we do. We have loads of ways for volunteers to get involved, everything from simply helping in our office to actually helping us foster and transport animals, um, and everything in between, including helping out with our outreach program, talking to vets and boarding facilities about AHIMSA House, and taking our information booth to to community festivals so we can help spread awareness not only about Ahimsa House but also about animal abuse, domestic violence and the connection between the two and why they should both be taken very seriously. As a man I want to be involved to say that yes there are men out there who care about uh, these struggles and these, uh, these victims um, and these survivors uh, of domestic violence and so that and when I'm also a huge animal, uh, animal lover, uh, animal, supportive animal lover, um, supportive of animal rights and, um, and uh, against animal abuse and those sort of things. And so when I saw that Ahimsa House incorporated both concepts, both aspects, I said, this has got to be an organization I have to be involved with. And, and so I started working with them. Well, Ahimsa House, again, is such a small organization, we rely very heavily on donations from members of the public to help us keep going. It costs us approximately $400 a month to provide care for one victim and the pets in the family. And sometimes that can be a lot higher for those who have 10 animals or who have exotic animals or horses. So our donors really support us in a number of ways. Currently, we receive no government funding and no United Way funding. We're not a government agency. We're people helping people. And so the donors help us with their financial support, with donations of in-kind items like products, pet supplies, other kinds of things that we need, and in many other ways as well, including sponsoring our events. What sets a Himsa House apart is, and the word unique is overused a lot, but to me they really are unique. They uncovered the link between uh, an abused person not being able to or feeling that he or she can leave the abusive situation because of the threat, the very real threat, to their pet, which may be their only touchstone in life at that point. And so uh, uh, when I looked at Ahimsa House, that formula of people plus pets being reunited, I don't think you can get a happier ending than that. I, I really believe that people should donate to Ahimsa House because it is such a quick situation to decide when you are going to be done with domestic violence. If you are the victim, you are the one that has to decide that. No one can decide that for you. And so when you have a, an organization like Ahimsa House, um, you will always um, be taken care of and it is very important for them to be able to be funded because without it, who could take care of them and, who, and then who will take care of us? Ahimsa House has changed my life by helping me escape a situation that was beyond my control. And Ahimsa House, had, you know, they were there for me in my darkest time and by them being there to take care of my pets so that I could move into the shelter. Um, that was one of the greatest gifts they could have ever done.